Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to introduce Fedora's cockpit. Before I start with the introduction of dashboard and its components, I'd like to take you through installation steps. To install a Fedora's cockpit on your workstation, you need to run this command. If you add little asterisks, it will install all of the components in here. Second step is to enable cockpit and to start the service. And the last one is to add it through a firewall. So you need to enable port TCP, port 9090 on TCP, over TCP. To access the dashboard, you can key this URL, HTTPS and the local host and 9090. Uh, instead of local host, you can put IP address or DNS name of the machine. You can also add firewall ports through the GUI. I will just quickly show you. Login. Make sure you select permanent. Scroll down until you find cockpit. It's already there. And then reload firewall. That should make changes permanent. Okay, once you logged in, you will be presented with this uh, uh, view. It will show you health, usage, configuration, system information, and so on. You can notice here that I'm logged with administrative privileges. You can limit access further, but I won't do it for this example. Uh, I can see here the one service has failed, and this will take us straight to a, a service section, and it will tell us which service has failed. If I click on it, it will give us option to start the service and to further troubleshoot. We'll do that in some other video. If we go on a dashboard, you'll be able to see CPU usage, memory, network, disk, and, and so on. Uh, we can change the parameters here. You can also add other workstations or servers. I will try to add one more. 192, 168, there we go, 26. I'm going to use um, username of Nico. We can pick a color, any color. Let's go with uh, this bright color. Click Add. You will need to provide a password. You can also create additional SSH key. Uh, so for this purpose, we'll for this demo, we'll just leave it as it is. So here we go. We're connected now. You can see the uh, difference in colors, and it will tell you how it behaves. The system is this one here. Uh, you can click on the system, and it will sh show you all information. You can say the same service has failed. Okay, that's loading now a little bit, but we'll come back to it later on. You can view logs, storage. This is for the machine where, the, if you want to go back, you can do like this. Pango. So we're back on, on our original station. We can click on storage. It will tell you all about the storage. Uh, you can resize partitions, but I will do that in another video. Networking information, firewall, and so on. You can see quite a few useful informations there. You can add virtual machines through here. You can manage accounts, so very quick and easy. So this is a service administrator, so let's just add some comments. We can change password expiry. Let's add every 30 days. Change. And this will this change will take uh, effect straight away. I can see that. There are session recording. You can record session for privileged um, access. You can get... I see Linux information and f useful for troubleshooting. You can have full access to a terminal. Or you can connect to other workstations. Extremely useful, very easy to install, and a uh, feature-rich um, um, tool. I strongly recommend uh, using this on Fedora and obviously on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So I think this is all for this video. Just a quick introduction, and I will create another video uh, where we're going to drill in some of these components in a bit more detail. I hope you like the video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you. Bye-bye.